After four years, the family is still looking for answers on who killed a 27 year old man while he was walking in Colleen. Christopher Rivers Jr. was hit by a driver who then fled the scene. Since November 2019, Colleen police have never been able to identify this driver and no one has come forward. Today I talked to the victim's mom who tells me she hasn't lost hope. If I don't have his voice, who will? Shernitha Youngblood is fighting to answer the hardest question she's had to deal with. Who killed her son? We were always together. He was always joking. He would bust out into some dance or um, crack some joke. And so when he walked into the room, he was always acting goofy. On November 8th, 2019, 27-year-old Christopher Rivers Jr. was walking along Twin Creek Drive when he was struck by a green pickup. The unidentified driver left him there, where Chris suffered cardiac arrest several times, leaving him brain dead and on life support. Youngblood had to make the difficult decision to take him off of it. I will never have a grandchild. I will never be able to say, you know, go visit again. I will never be able to hear his voice personally. It's been four years since she lost Chris, and still she doesn't know who hit him. After all this time, she's now trying to find peace. I say to them, I forgive them. I'm hopeful that they're going to finally get peace themselves because in my head, there is no way in God's green earth that this person is sleeping comfortably at night. But it doesn't come at the cost of closure or justice for Chris. My son wore that uniform. I wore that uniform and I need you. And if you all have any information, please share it. Those little tips will help the authorities do their job even better, but it's going to take a village. When Chris died, he had recently celebrated his two year anniversary with his wife. She's still grieving and hoping for answers too. If you know anything about a green pickup truck, specifically a GMC or Chevrolet that could have been involved in this hit and run, you are asked to call Colleen PD or share your information anonymously with Bell County Crime Stoppers.